What's up, folks? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. And today we are checking out a 1950 Science and Mechanics. April 1950, build your own low-cost uranium detector. Man, this thing just reeks atomic age ephemera. Look at how they're just bulldozing everything. The theme here is taking the land down so that you can use the land. This is the only time I have ever seen uh, a glorification of land destruction. <laughs> but they're really getting right into it, eh? They're like, oh, we're going to take those old trees down or these... Oh, man. You couldn't get this past the, past the hippies these days. This is just break a hippie's heart. <laughs> you know you're getting into an older magazine when it says, Learn electricity. Mmm, boy. Be a success in radio television. Do something good with your life. Go to school and make your mom happy. Television, radio, and electronics. You can learn from home. I'm sorry, guys. You're going to have to put up with me going slow over these things. Every bit of these advertisements is ephemera. This stuff is gold. I love this. They're getting really excited about organs here. Be a diesel mechanic. I'm sure some of those things never change. Hey, riddle me this. Why is diesel more expensive than gasoline? Why has it been that way so long? I know supply and demand, but someone's messing with that system. I absolutely love circular televisions that give off a square image. Lexi power, is that like Dianetics and Scientology? Come on, autofocus. We think in words. Thought is power. Uh, okay. Hey, check it out. Looks like this is one of those generals from North Korea. American jujitsu tricks. Commando fighting. Those guys have no idea what they're doing. They have n they know nothing about commando, let's face it. Motos, motors... No, Motors. Motors Auto Repair Manual. I am so sorry. I have so much respect for that book. Makes any auto repair job your meat. Your penis? Me? In a rut? Could be. I've heard some people say like, hey, you're down. To people who are having a really hard time in life. And I don't really think some of those people are down. I think life just really sucks for them. Learn to mount birds and animals. Fun and for profit. Send away for a free book. Yeah, I don't trust anyone who would, uh, learn some things you just don't want to learn from home. U.S. government jobs. Jeez, if you get one of those, you're good, right? Look at that ephemera, though. I love that. I love that. You get clerk, railway. Oh, jeez, you would be a government employee if you worked for the railway in some cases, wouldn't you? Post office clerk, those are all very respectable jobs. Oh, I love the pit boy ephemera. Bongo, 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 I don't want to leave the Congo. No, 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 no. Bingo, bango, bongo, I'm so happy in the jungle, I refuse to go. They're still using two. Oh, of course they're still using tubes. I wonder at what point they stopped using them. Once again, this, uh, draw me. Draw me like your French women. Draw anime. You can draw ladies' nipples so you won't need the internet. Glow tape. That must just be like glow-in-the-dark stuff, right? I understand plastics were kind of new to this time, and while wood was an in-demand thing, chrome and plastics were becoming popular. If there's anyone who's familiar with the time, I'll get you to fill me in on that. Good money and old furniture. Seriously, I only know one person that... I've only ever known one person that could do this, a seamstress. And yeah, you could seriously still make some money with this, I'm sure. Nobody knows how to do this stuff anymore. It's like a cooper. Except some trades are lost out of redundancy because it's just too easy to get things manufactured in another country by slave laborers. Model engine from scrap? Oh, I gotta respect anyone that can do something like that. Having a hard time with the ladies? Learn hypnotism. Learn how to hypnotize those ladies into loving you. Brrr. Dude even looks creepy. This over here looks like the most no fun and constipated individual. This Hank Hill. Well, hello there, Bobby. I'm Hank Hill. I'm here to sell propane and propane accessories. I'll tell you what, Bobby. Haha, <laughs> look at that guy wearing personal protective equipment in the 50. He must be a homosexual. I'll remind you guys I'm bisexual. I can get away with saying that shit. Lol. But still, I think kids in grade school 
still say no homo, even though they're totally okay with homo, because they don't want any sexual tension. And I totally understand that. Wow, that is a huge TV for the 50s, isn't it? 16 inch? Yeah, giant new 16 inch for her pleasure. Check it out, boys. The new 100 power telescope. Complete kit. Only $2.98. Oh, man. I love the ephemera of that outdoor motor. An all-day tank. <gasps> An all-day tank. Oh, I could use one of those for my... I'm just gonna hang here. No, I know you don't, Mr. Page. And we're just gonna appreciate some of these things. Physical therapy. Ah, uh, I got those chiropractors trying to get through through the sketchy papers. Sorry, I'm gonna scroll in. Complete practical physical therapy jujitsu. Huh. Yeah. Now you can fight dock workers. A Swedish body massage gong. Sing for money. Now, women like to sing for money. Has Have men ever cared to sing for money? Like, I went to karaoke once and, oh, it was horrible. Oh, they're making plastic domes specifically for little plants. No wonder I wouldn't have seen those. They wouldn't have lasted the test of time. We got a projector case that doubles the size of the screen. Oh, a disposal system inside the sink. Mmm, a real hand eater. And the utility tester. I could just read through these advertisements all day, just for the ephemera, just for the beautiful look. Check that out. It's an exhaust deflector. It deflects the gas directly at the road instead of directly out the back and possibly at someone. That is very nice. Man, I bet that would be really hot to live in in the summer, but geez, with the way housing is right now, that might just be a good way to make uh, some shelters real quick. Now, it's interesting. In older magazines, you find uh, professionals unapologetically driving around on scooters. At what point did it become effeminate and not cool to drive around on a little bike? It seems like nothing is cooler than, have, than sitting on a motor and just away you go. No, it has to be a giant powerful motor. Ring, ding, 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 pop, pop, pop. Hmm. Life decisions. Become a doctor of psychology or raise hamsters. Mama didn't raise no fool. I'ma raise me some rabbits, boy. Oh my goodness, these old-timer auto kits. I've seen them so many times. When I was a kid, I used to pick these up at the second-hand store. My grandma would pick them up. And we'd bring them home, and I think they're really cool. They didn't last the Destruction Derby. I didn't have too, too many of those things, though. But man, yeah, they look pretty neat. Here's your health. Nurses discover that... Sorry, men discover it's totally not gay to get hugs from women in bed. Also... This wisdom must die. Hmm. You always get these advertisements in all of the mechanics and science magazines. That's like, oh, the Christians have been keeping things away from you. And you're like one of these people. And there's a totally hot, there's always a hot lady, totally hot lady in there. And you can give her information that will make her want to show you her thingies. Wow, Zenith made everything. I'm very deaf, but I hear. Thank you, Zenith. Got a rupture? Don't you dare go to the doctor about it. You know he still doesn't damn well know what he's talking about. It's still the 50s. He might try to literally blow smoke up your bottom. Oh yeah, also back then you didn't have to want to look like a 1% biker to get a Harley Davidson. It was just something, hey, are you get an American bike right on. You don't have to be a drug dealer or anything like that. Oh, now this is where it gets really interesting. See, in the 50s, they were still kind of beating the universe back to get farmland, and they didn't... Yeah, they, they knew we still needed to irrigate and have trees here and there for this and that, right? Here we have uh, pictures of machines that, man, just enthrall me. As a mechanic, as a tech... These things are badass and awesome, but as someone who hates mother or loves Mother Nature, it's pretty also kind of terrifying at the same time. But hey, there was a time where we kind of needed to beat nature back. And we beat her back pretty hard. Like, check this one out. Uh, complete grill of frills. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Where is it? Arsenic. Yeah. Apply arsenic solution. 
to keep the animals from it, basically. Yeah, apply arsenic to the base of trees so that uh, animals will run away. Look at these arses and their arsenic. Fresh water from the sea, boys. How do we do it? Uh, we distill it. I mean, it's a lot more complicated than that, boys. We get our air outlet. We get our Abbeville uh, Light IRA 400. It always ends up looking like a crematorium than it does on paper, but still, lovely crematorium where we distill down our fallen heroes and make beautiful water out of them. So you think green as people. 50 houses a day in the 50s, Justin Trudeau. How come we can't do this in Canada? How come I'm the biggest freaking country in the world almost, almost? Let's just say it is. And, and I can't get any freaking land because of red tape because your buddies, the rich folk, all want to have all the... Ooh, that's a pretty cool thing. Wow. Invisible light beams talk? Wait. Is light... Light isn't supposed to talk to you, buddy. Light can be military... Oh, it's a... It's a night vision. No, it's infrared. Man, that guy looks so cool. I want one. Mmm, look at all those radio tubes. I'm getting wet from the ephemera. Mmm. Battle of the transport, boys. Who's better? I believe I have never seen an antenna like that before, huh? An x-ray microscope, you say? Fascinating. So, this is about hooked rugs, but also... Look at how awesome and normal that is in the 50s. What's new in the workshop? I don't understand what quite a bit of this is. An alcohol burning blowtorch? That's like butane. Instead of butane, it burns alcohol. Butane is an alcohol, but alcohol is a gas and butane is a gas. Yes, yes, the lightweight arbor press. I know exactly what that is. That had better just be an oiler for tight spots, because that's what it looks like. A starter, teeter, fits, standard. Well, anything's a dildo if you're brick. Portable bandsaw, that sounds really cool. Portable anything. Oh, I love this. Make your pow make, make your lawnmower a power motor. That is awesome. Also, I would never want my wife around anything like that. I'd be worried she'd lose a finger. It's just like anything that dangerous. No, if anyone's losing a finger here, it's dear, it's me. I am far more likely to lose a finger, but I would rather be if anyone's losing a finger, it's me. Make titles for your own home movies. It is really easy. Doesn't look easy. Just make this thing here. See this? Got it? Good. Jeez, there's another one. Sharpen those blades? That thing looks like a death trap. Yeah, and all those folks are like, Oh, wow, women can't do it. Hey, let's get a women out here and sharpen this death trap. Better yet, no, if anyone's going to lose their wiener sharpening something, it's going to be me. Ceramics in your kitchen. Look, dear, we don't have to eat off of paper plates anymore. No, dear, but we'll do it because we choose to. Here we got a real man's pocket computer add-in machine. A three-wheel power motor? What could go wrong? Really, what could go wrong? I wish I could be this happy with anything in life. Well, I, I, you know, my kids give me a hug, I get that happy. I'll forget I said anything. Ooh, that looks like an interesting motor he's got there. Try this lube. Tube. Tube. Well, I was hoping that there'd be naked ladies in this uh, episode of, you know, 50s magazines. The, my progressive girlfriends were always telling me that the patriarchy and etc. and so on, and then it happened way back then. I was really expecting to find information about how to be all patriarchal and alpha male-ish, but that doesn't seem to be in this issue. Perhaps I'll have to look back in further issues to find out how I can become part of said patriarchy. No, no, no. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, have a good one. Take care of each other, will ya?